uh, now we are going to see how to control a pneumatic circuit using programmable logic controller so this is the ladder programming uh, that is developed in totally integrated automation that is TIA portal which is a software of Siemens uh, PLCs so now you can see um, this uh, inputs so there are total uh, three inputs IS1 which is connected to the point I0.0 .0 is my sensor which detect the retracted end position of the double acting cylinder then I0.1 that is my IS2 which detect the uh, extended position of the uh, double acting cylinder both are cap capacitive sensors uh, then we have this I0.2 which is a uh, on or off switch uh, that is to start this operation then uh, the two solenoid inputs are given from Q0.0 Q0.0 is connected to the uh, one end of the solenoid valve 5 by 2 solenoid valve uh, once you give this once it is energized it will start the extension of the cylinder then Q0.1 is the other end connected to other end of the solenoid valve uh, when it is energized it will start the retraction process so, the, so this is for the one cycle of uh, operation because we are using start button as on or off switch when we turn on that it will continuously uh, do the cyclic operation of double acting cylinder now we will move to the hardware setup so this is my hardware setup i am using Siemens S7 1200 PLC Cimatic S7 1200 PLC with a part number of 1215C here you can see 1215C DC 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 CPU okay. and uh, it is connected through Ethernet this is connected to my computer ok now I have already downloaded the program so let's see the connection first of all we have this double acting cylinder so this is the uh, this extensional traction is con uh, controlled with the help of this flow uh, flow I mean flow control valve okay so here is our uh, 5 by 2 directional control valve the output is taken out from this directional control valve and input is connected to the pneumatic input is connected to this supply where here we have this compressor in the lab okay now uh, here are the two sensors two capacitive sensors as you can see the symbol these are capacity proximity sensor okay now first of all i have connected the 24 volt 24 volt here yeah. and the 0 volt 24 volt and 0 volt of both the sensors I have connected to the 24 volt and ground of this uh, module ok and then um, these are the inputs this is I0.0 .0, which is connected to the this sensor ok this which detect the retracted end of the cylinder so this Q1 is connected to that I0.1 Similarly, this Q2 which detect the extended position of this um, cylinder that is connected to a 0 0.1. Okay, now you can, uh, okay, and of then we have connected this uh, solenoid valve Q0.0 here uh, to this Q0.0 of the PLC where we have these points and other end is connected to the this side ok Q0.1 the second point Q0.1 ok now initially this is in the retracted end position now you can see the sensor detects this particular position and you can see this I0.0 this LED is on that means the sensor output is high because it is detecting now you can see if I change this uh, position to retracted end position ok this particular will detect and it will give the output and also you can see this is connected to I0.1 that sensor output is also high so like that now let's start the operation so to start this I have to turn on this switch which is connected to I0.2 ok so when I turn on that you can see no, not this one I0.2 ok so this is the start switch ok and I will keep it in the 
lower end okay now you can see both the inputs are high that i0.0 which is a sensor input and i0.2 which is our start switch now I, I, the signal to the solo node valve is given the cylinder is not moving because i have not yet started the pneumatic supply now i'm going to start the pneumatic supply okay you can, you see. can see the continuous movement of this uh, double acting cylinder now it is working fine it is uh, the movement is very slow because i have adjusted the flow control valve now if i see if i change this you can see the extended extension that is speed is uh, increased now if i adjust now i am again reversing now i am adjusting the speed of here you can see the retraction speed has increased so like this it works so this is the you can see that here so the same way you can implement counters timers and everything in the program it will be working